Hi everyone, we're here with the track show again today and we're visiting with Dr. Bill Charshan. Earlier in the, uh, in the season I produced a video for you regarding foam rolling and today we're going to do a quick three minute warm up with the foam roller as directed by Dr. Bill Charshan. He's got a different take on some things and I think you'll find it interesting. So let's take a look at what Bill has to show us. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Charshan. I'm here to show you a quick three minute warm up that you can do prior to your run that will improve your flexibility, improve your running times, improve the way your body moves, and also makes you feel better after your run. So instead of using the stick, we're going to show you how to do it with foam rollers and you're going to see and be very surprised how quick and easy this actually is. So let's go do it. This is a basic foam roller. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. This is a $20 foam roller. There are some better ones that you can get for about $40 or $50. But this is a great size and it's really not that big where you can't put it in your running bag. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to go ahead and work the back of the hamstrings and the glutes. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. You don't have to kill yourself doing it. And movement is better because the fascia, which is what you want to work on, is all superficial. So you don't have to go very deep. The first thing I'm doing is we're working on the hamstring insertions. This is a big area for a lot of people having problems. So you'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm slowly rolling on the foam roller and you can move the leg up and down. Again, you can do a lot more with movement than if you dig in. If you're looking to go ahead and get to the point of pain, you're probably doing something wrong. So you'll notice that I'm not really digging very hard, but I'm getting a lot done and it's loosening things up very nicely. As I'm doing this, I can also get into the glutes. So I can go ahead and work this area as well. And at the same time, I can go ahead and get into the TFL, the lateral part of the leg, the IT band a little bit, and I can do the same thing. Again, nice and easy, nice and simple. Here's the calves. So you don't really have to dig very, very hard. You can do this on a bench if you're in a park, let's say, for instance, and you want to warm up. And you'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm also pointing my toes up towards me. And the reason I'm doing that is because movement helps break up fascia restrictions a lot easier than just trying to get in there and dig. Now, you can work all the way towards the back of the knee. And a lot of times, if things are bound up in the back of the knee, it will tighten up the hamstring, and it will also tighten up the calf. So, you don't have to dig very hard, but you can just get in there and roll on it, and extend the knee, and it does a nice job. And as you can see, then I can go right into the hamstring insertions. Here's a great way to go ahead and get to the lumbars, the lower backs, the, the erector spinae, right by the base of the spine. You can actually move the legs backwards and forwards. You can move the foam roll a little bit farther down. That'll go ahead and get the gluteus insertions. And you can go up a little higher. And now we can do some of the mid-back area so we can actually roll a little bit forward. And notice I'm using a lot of movement. And then you can start moving the arms. Now since running requires a lot of arm movement, if you have restrictions in the upper body, it can create problems in the lower body. So you want to go ahead and actually use those areas as well. And then we can get into the mid-back too. And again, you can move the arms up. So you can get in between the shoulder blades. And this very effectively and very quickly will release a lot of adhesions. Another area that people have problems in is the quadratus lumborum. A great way to do this is to get on your side. You can move the arm up, move the arm back. We can loosen up the serratus anterior the same way. For those, for those folks in the audience who didn't get an A in anatomy class, can you give a more layman's description of okay. the muscle areas? What you're looking at is the serratus anterior runs up in here. The quadratus lumborum runs up in here. So you want all these free because in order to be able to move your arms forward and backward, any restrictions in there are going to reflect in the way you move your legs and also in your stride length, and you're going to hit the ground harder. And that's one of the things that creates a lot of running injuries that people have. We can also do the quadriceps and as we're doing the quadriceps notice I'm using the leg to move and that very effectively will get into the quadriceps so if you're by a park and you put your leg on the park bench you can do this fairly easily. A lot of people also may do their warm-up before they even go out for the run so you could do it on your bed. Very very simple to do and then you can work your way up right by the quadricep insertions and again use the same movements. 
Do you recommend um, doing this on an elevated platform like a, a bench or a bed it's versus much doing it on the floor? Do you, is it more effective doing it's, it this way? It's much easier because as you can see I can balance myself a lot better. If I do this on the floor, um, it, it's, it's a lot more cumbersome. So I can actually get a lot more leverage by having it up on the bed. One of the big problems for a lot of runners is getting bound up in here. That would include the inguinal ligament, which runs in this area, and the lower abdominals, which include the obliques, which run from side to side this way, and also the rectus abdominis in here. The nice thing about foam rollers, especially if you do it on a bed, is it's very easy to work these areas. Loosen them up, your arms are going to move better, your shoulders won't roll in as much, and you'll see an improvement in your stride. So, for instance, if I lay on here, I can very easily put the foam roller right by the inguinal ligament, right over here, and I can actually go ahead and lift the leg up, and at the same time, I can raise the arm up. And because the psoas, the main hip flexor, runs through this area, it very nicely opens that up and will improve your stride when you're running. You can do the same thing on the other side. The last one we're going to show you is for the abdominals. And you can actually put this on the abdominal muscles and just raise the arms up and it will very nicely open up the abdominals. And just by raising the arms up, you can open up the abdominals and free up a lot of adhesion. You can do that entire workout in about three minutes and be ready to run. I can promise you, if you do that type of workout, it's better than stretching and many of the things that you may have been taught to do in the past. But this kind of workout is very, very effective for a runner, and it improves the firing mechanical patterns so when you're running, and the transmission of force comes through your body, up through your upper body much more efficiently, you'll feel better after you run and your times will improve. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for being with the, the track show today, Bill.